Hello and welcome to lesson number two on programming in Python. This is part of the IGCSE computer science series of videos and in today's session we are going to be having a look at how you can use one and two dimensional lists inside Python. So first of all if you are not one of my students and if you want access to these resources do drop me a message underneath this video. Now first things first is how to define a one-dimensional list inside Python. So first of all, on line number one here, we have got a new list set up, which is using camel casing, and we've got equal to square brackets. So we use square brackets for one and also two-dimensional lists. Now we can see here in the console window that when this is being printed out, that it's only printing square brackets because there is no data inside the list. This is not a predefined disk. Uh, list because there is no data in there. If I was to put some speech marks here and put the word hello, and if I run this again, you'll then be able to see that we have got hello being printed in the first section of the console window over here. Now, down on line number five, this is one way in which we can append data. So we can append data directly into a list using new list append, and then the piece of data. But we could also append data from a variable into the list as well. So what I'm going to do is set up a variable for a moment. So I'm going to say Q is equal to input and enter data. And then what I'm going to do underneath this is I'm going to say new list dot append. And instead of a piece of data this time, we are going to put the name of the variable. Then when I run this code again, I'm going to enter John, and then we'll be able to see that John has been appended to the second place inside this list. Now, the next thing which we're going to have a look at is the positions of the pieces of data. So it's important for you to note here that Python lists begin at index 0. And that means that index 0, we are going to have the word hello. That's our first piece of data. And at index number one, we are going to have John, and at index two, Rob. On line number 10, we are using print new list, and then print new list square brackets zero. So this square bracket zero, this indicates the index number of the piece of data. If we change this number to be two now, and if we rerun this code, it's then going to print out, let me enter a piece of data first, it's going to print out Rob. Now, if we try to enter a number which is outside of this list, and what I mean by that is that we've got three pieces of data at 0, 1, 2. If we try to print out item number 3, and there is no item number 3 because we've got 0, 1, 2, what we're actually going to see is a syntax error because the list is going to be out of range. And you can see this. It says list index is out of range because there is no data at this position. So hopefully those first few concepts which I've just introduced you to are nice and clear and we are now going to move on to numbers. So firstly when you are using lists you can append float, integer, string, boolean, but really if you are appending data into a list it should be of the same data type. If it is not of the same data type, of course you can append the data, but it will become very, very difficult to sort later on. If you've got a mixture of boolean and string and then integer or float, and if you want to sort it by ascending order A to Z or 1 to 10, it becomes quite tricky to do. So first rule here is always append data which is of the same data type. Now, losing my words a bit there, so um, let's have a look at this next section here. So when we set up a list, sometimes we are going to want to set up a list which is not predefined, which means that it's an empty list, but we're going to want to add placeholder values. And what this section of code here does, so for i in range 12, number list is going to be append and then i. So what this is going to do is it's going to append numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up to 11. And those numbers are going to be placeholder values. So if I go and enter JJJ here, we can see this section of code, number list, 
we have got 0 up to 11 being added automatically into all of these index positions. Now, if you're wondering why the number 12 is not there, it is because Python lists start at 0. So we've said for i in range 12, that's iterated 12 times. We've done number list append i. i has incremented 1 at a time. And then we've stopped at 11 because there's a total of 12 numbers being appended to. So this here is a really, really useful concept if you want to append placeholder values. Now, for the last couple of concepts in this video here, we are looking at insert, we are looking at remove, and we are looking at delete. So when we are appending data, data which is being appended is being added to the end of the list. Now, if we look at number list, and we are looking at the printed list underneath here, insert allows us to decide where we want to add our data. So we have said here number dot insert for Harry. So at index number four, we have now put Harry. Previously, index number four, we had the value four. And at index number 12 now, we've got Bob. And then we can see that 11 has been shifted to item number 13 in the list here. Now, when you insert data, it's not going to remove the old piece of data. It's just going to shift that value by one. Now, if we change this value over here to be zero, and then this one to be four, and if I press run again, if we enter our name, so John, we can see that Harry is at the beginning here, and then Bob has now been moved to index number four. Now, I'm going to uh, remove uh, these couple of lines of code here, just so uh, this is fresh for you when you open up this sample program. And what we are going to do is look at remove and then delete. So, with remove, this allows us to specify the piece of data that we want to remove from the list. But what happens if a piece of data is not in the list? So I would like to remove Jessica. If we run this code, what happens? We can see here that Jessica is not in the list. And also we've got this other error happening up here because the list index is out of range. So we'll run it again. And we are trying to remove Jessica now. And this error, list.remove x, x not in list, that means that we're trying to remove a name that doesn't exist, so we get the syntax error. So dot .remove only allows you to remove a piece of data if that piece of data is, in fact, inside the list here. So now, if I write Rob here, Rob is inside our year 10 list. If I run, we can see that we get Rob has been removed from that list. And the last thing which we're going to be looking at is delete. So sometimes you may not know what pieces of data are inside your list, or maybe you just want to shorten your list and remove data from particular index numbers. So in this case, we've got the delete function. So del, name of list, and then the index number. And what this is doing is it's just removing item number eight. And we can see here that item number eight has now been removed from the number list. Now, hopefully these concepts are nice and clear. I've tried to keep this video as short as possible. In the next video, we are going to be moving on to how you can use two-dimensional lists inside Python.